eight months ago, I made a video on the BTT token on BitTorrent. And it was one of the most successful videos on this channel. It almost made 400 subscribers and still up to this day, it gets traffic. At the time, the price was highly manipulated. The vertical line is when the video was published and the price pumped from bottom to top by almost 200%. Now, since we are down low again, does it make sense to buy and hope for the next pump? Let's have a look at a few fundamentals. Let's have a look at how much the BTT net Network is being used, how much is used for bridging, how much is used for transactions. Let's dive into the tokenomics, let's dive into the accumulation by retail investors versus whale investors. Let's have a look at the data most people are not considering. So this is what everybody is looking at. This is the website of BitTorrent connecting all chains and it allows to bridge assets across various chains. In this video though, we want to look at potential price developments. So there's a staking program for BTT that currently earns 17% APY. And we can already see how much the centralized exchanges are involved in this. Most staking happens through Binance. Now it's very hard to find proper data around the tokenomics of BitTorrent. There's Misari.io and that shows us some circulating supply numbers, but it all doesn't really add up because the inflation here is only 1.8% in the last year. While again, the staking almost returns 10 times of that. Let's have a look at a few fundamentals. Is there a lot of development happening? Are there a lot of code changes happening? What's up with the white paper? So first, let's have a look at GitHub. This is the place where programmers submit their code changes to a project. And for the BitTorrent project, we don't see that much activity, unfortunately. A change here five days ago, another one three weeks ago, more three weeks ago some even two months ago. So really just looking at that data, it looks almost like a dead project. The white paper had been published more than five years ago. And here we've got something around token issuance, a total supply of almost 1 trillion. It looks like almost all of that is already circulating. And have a look at who got those tokens. There was a public sale of 6%, a private sale of 2%, a seed sale of 9%. So that's in total 17%. Then we've got airdrops, which are 20% of the supply. And the remaining roughly 60%, a bit more than 60%, seem to be going to insiders. So the BitTorrent team, the Tron Foundation, the BitTorrent ecosystem, and 4% to partners, whatever that means. And so there's three different kinds of tokens. The majority is on the Tron chain. Then we've got also some tokens on Ethereum and also a bunch of tokens on the Binance Smart Chain. On Tron, 87% of all of supply is held by only 10 holders. In total, we've got 237,000 holders. On Ethereum, there's less than one tenth of that. And on the Binance Smart Chain, there's roughly double of what there is on Ethereum. Let's have a look at the pace of accumulation by both retail investors as well as whale investors. I built a tool for Ethereum and the Binance Smart Chain where you can actually dive into the number of retail investors versus whale investors. Let's have a look. So here we go. This is the Ethereum chain. On the left side, we've got the number of wallets that hold roughly 135 million tokens. And that's worth to $100 worth of the token. In the middle, we go 10x on that. That's a minimum holding of $1,000. On the right, we go to $10,000 minimum holding. There's accumulation across small retail and medium-sized retail. The quote-unquote whales with $10,000 worth of the token is not growing in numbers. Here are the same charts for the Binance Smart Chain. So here we've got higher numbers. We also see accumulation across the board. The whales stopped though in the last years. And here's again the direct comparison between the two. Now there is a change and that's roughly in the last five months or so. There isn't any accumulation anymore both on Ethereum but also on the Binance Smart Chain. So something has happened with retail demand. March of this year is roughly around here and by the way this is the BTT token divided by Ethereum and since then since retail isn't buying anymore BTT underperformed Ethereum by roughly 45%. Again, I believe that this rally was mainly manipulation. It was not driven by any fundamental reasons. More on that is in the prior BTT video on this channel, right? So feel free to check it out in case you haven't watched it yet. Let's check out the usage, right? Because BTT is its own chain. What we've got over here is the number of daily transactions. And that's currently fluctuating around 50,000 or so. Here we've got the number of verified contracts per day. Sometimes this is at zero. 
So there's not a single smart contract that's deployed and verified for several months in a row. And here we've got the number of deployed contracts. This is above zero because those contracts are not verified. This can have many reasons. It could be smart contracts that are used for arbitrage trading. It could be smart contracts that can't be properly verified because it's scam tokens. Who knows? Whatever those deployments are, they are unlikely organic adoption by retail or by proper projects moving to BTT. There used to be a little bit of action on the chain. So check this out. This is DeFi Llama. This is the BitTorrent chain total value locked over time. And at one point we had been even above 15 million. But this all came crashing down. Now we are at only a little bit above 200,000. And that's for a network with a fully diluted market cap of 700 million. Now here is why BTT is so easy to manipulate. There's very little liquidity on chain. There's only three 380,000 on Ethereum and a bit under $200,000 on the Binance Smart Chain. And again, most tokens are on Tron and a lot of that is held directly by Binance or by Bithump, by the centralized exchanges. And so that's then how that looks like. BTT can be bought on Binance and of course also on Justin Sun's HTX. So HTX is very closely affiliated with Tron. There was $1.5 million of wash trading on HDX in the last 24 hours, while on chain there was less than $4,000 worth of trading. It's even more extreme on the perpetual futures market. Here we've got in sum roughly $5 million worth of wash trading. And so since BTT is now low, relatively speaking, doesn't make sense to buy low and sell high. I wouldn't hold my breath. It's very intransparent who still owns the token and who's taking profit. When there's no manipulation, we can easily go down by 72%, relatively speaking, in the span of a bit over a year. And so yes, you could dollar cost average into infinity, buy more and more every month just to hope for this one pump that might or might not happen. But that's definitely a gamble because I do believe long term it's very likely that the fundamentals are going to catch up and thus the price might simply just continue on its merry way down. Again, it's $200,000 of total value locked at a valuation of more than 700 million. And so instead of trying to find this one altcoin that might do well, I simply short very bad altcoins. There are altcoins that have way more token inflation, where the token inflation is very transparent and where we see the underperformance also very transparently. For example, this token over here. I'm shorting this already for a very long time. Since beginning of the year, this already underperformed by more than 60%. I made money with that underperformance and I'm continue to make money with this. If you also want to bet on falling prices of S it's like this then feel free to check out the premium membership so that's down below it's the bitcoinstrade.com that's where I share all my knowledge. That's where I share how to make money while everything else continues to bleed. There's many tutorials. There's also a community. There's also a way to chat with me one-on-one -on -one directly. If your portfolio isn't large enough to justify premium, there's also a free telegram. Link is as well down below. Looking very much forward to chatting with you over there as well. Cheers.